Hey guys, so today we're going to be doing some Valentine's Day nails, but honestly, this first video is focused on prep work. So, with that being said, if you need more practice with prep and how to do it, this is for you. We want to start off by clipping it with our clippers. I take these off because, girl, it's a practice hand, you know? It makes it so much easier. File down them nails. I use this drill to remove all the oil. Just make it a rough surface so the glue actually sticks. If you're working on an actual person, you'd want to use primer and dehydrator and then dust that thing off. Then we're going to get at our tips right here. And it's okay if it's a little oversized because that tends to work better for the practice hand. But you know, now we're basically going to smooth the tip and the nail together like this. I shaped it a little. Now go in and cut it to the preferred length that you want. So now that you've shaped your nail and cleaned your surface, it's kind of ready to go in for application. These are some of the supplies I'm using for Valentine's Day nails, and I actually just posted the video. Bye, girl. Three, two, one. Baby, Baby you know I'm feeling you. Has anyone ever tried to talk to you in a public bathroom? Once a young girl went into a public bathroom and heard from the stall next to hers, shall we put on the red vest? She got scared, ran off, and called the police. Two officers arrived. One went in and heard the same voice asking, shall we put on the red vest? The officer outside heard her reply, okay, put it on. Suddenly, a loud scream, then a thump. The second officer opened the door to check on his partner, then found her head rolling on the ground and blood all the way down her back, making it look like she was wearing a red vest. In Japanese urban legend, the Akamanto is a ghost who haunts bathrooms, specifically female bathrooms. He wears a red cape and hides his face with a white mask. If he chooses you, he will ask you if you want to wear a red vest or a blue vest. If you say red, he will chop your head off. If you say blue, he will grab you by the neck until your face turns blue and you suffocate. If you try to ask for a third color, the floor will open up and a pair of pale hands will reach up and drag you to hell. Today, my client wanted Valentine's nails. She did just break up with her boyfriend, so it's going to be a little different, not very traditional Valentine nails. These are her old ones, and she did slam one in a drawer, so we're going to fix that. Taking off her old gel, I have to take that all the way down so I can build her a new free edge. Just going to take a little bit of poly gel and put it on there and after I cure that, I'm gonna shape it up and good as new. Then I'm gonna take my tornado bit and clean up her cuticles, being very gentle. Also gonna nip away the excess cuticle. And when she's all clean, this is the design we ended up doing. My mind while I do a gel French. Yes, start from here. Wait, no, from the bottom so it's not crooked Don't ASF. Move. Don't move. Don't move. OMG, she is moving. Don't let her move her finger. Now meet the button and don't breath while you do it. OMG, you actually did it kind of good for once. ISTG, if you bump the line with your brush and losing it. You way too close to the edge sis move now. Get the tip too or it's gonna look effed up in the pics. Wait it actually looks really cute. Swipe sides or your corners won't be sharp and then you can oh, so love her. Story time. I babysat a lot of kids in my neighborhood and there was this one night that I was babysitting a two year old. It was around 10 o'clock at night so the kid was sleeping and I was just sitting in the living room. In the living room there was a big TV, a couch and then behind me it was a wall with a giant window. So it was really late at night, I had nothing to do, so I was Snapchatting my friends. If you Snapchat anybody, I'm sure you know that sometimes you Snapchat really fast. You don't even know or look at what you're sending. I was mass snapping all my friends, and then one of them replied 10 minutes later. And he said, who's that guy behind you? And I turned around and no one was there, so I'm like, he's playing a joke on me. But then I get another Snapchat from this friend I had, and she lives all the way across the country. They don't know each other. And she said, I think there's someone outside. So I was really freaked out because I was alone. There was a giant window behind me. Apparently there was someone outside. I wasn't gonna call the child's parents cause I didn't want to freak them out, but I was scared. Getting my new acrylic brush ready. Push gently on paper towel. Use your finger to get rid of the starch. OMG, look at all that. Now let's take a damn shot to relieve some stress. Just kidding, I be bullshitting. 
dip your brush into some monomer or warm water? Wipe it and repeat a few times. Now pinch it. Even it out with some scissors. And boom! It's ready. So my dad saw all my male nail TikToks and I could just tell he wanted me to do his, so here we are, how could I say no? These hands are special. My dad immigrated to the US from what was the Soviet Union. He was a musician in the army and played any instrument you could think of. That was his passion and deep down, I think it still is. But he realized that he could not make a living in the US playing music, especially without knowing English. Just like most immigrants, my parents came here in search of a better life. My dad has endured many obstacles and I don't think any amount of money could repay him for what he sacrificed. But if I could do something to make his day, even if it's just doing his nails, I'll be happy. A couple weeks ago, I attempted to do acrylic nails for my first time. As you can see, they look good. But now, they look terrible and I'm in pain. You! And Nasty! ugly as fuck, I know that. Please don't judge me, that's why we're here, I'm trying to fix it. So I headed to the local corner store and I found this beautiful little gem. Originally, I was just looking for a nail file so I can just redo the process. But I found this bad bitch. Came with some tools that I now need to learn how to use, but it's fine. Put some powerful batteries in there because like most amazing handheld things, they require batteries. It came with a blue sack and now I'm about to look like Kylie, so. When you're bestie your vibes only, bestie 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 vibes only. Stephanie Carlson posted her rainbow nails on Instagram. I've been obsessed with it and I want to recreate them on my own hands. But I hate spending money getting my nails done. So I got these $4 press-ons from Amazon and these were also so inexpensive too. Let's recreate it. My nails are so gross. Here goes nothing. It's actually not as hard as it seems. One done. Do in the third, the last one. I put on a top coat and that really made it better. Here's the glue. It's hard to squeeze. I have no idea how much glue to put on. Sticking it on. Last one. Taking off these things file them a little i am so happy look at what they look like they look like perfect you guys need to try it Now I do my nails at home using dual forms and poly gel. Apply your poly gel to the form. Smooth it out and apply that to your nail. Cleaning up the cuticle area and the underside. 30 seconds in your lamp. Apply more to the underside and place it into your lamp. Remove the form. Shape and file. Poly gel by Gel Perfect.
I'm done. Do you like them? Oh. I love them. These are so pretty. Thank you, girl. My sister and I have always been mistaken as twins. I'm 19 and she's 16, but we had the same height, skin tone, and similar voice. She also has a habit of being a copycat, from the way I dress to hobbies, even piercings. I know it's cute if you look at it from the outside, but sometimes it gets annoying. Like yeah, we are quite close too, but why does she always happen to pick up everything I pick up? One afternoon, I was tidying up some costumes in my college showroom and found a rather cute brown and pink wig. It looks like a mushroom. I put it on, think it looks rather funny, so I snapped a picture and posted it to my Instagram. I received a text from my sister asking if I really cut my hair. I didn't mention it was a wig. While I somewhat have a feeling that she might copy that too, I lied and replied yes. I came home that weekend and lo and behold, my sister emerged with the same silly brown and pink bob cut, except this one is on her permanent hair. She was surprised that I arrived with my hair still long, then realized that I liked her. She was furious that she had to cut that silly hairstyle because she thought I had it. Our parents think that it's a really bad joke and wanted me to- Story time about the boy across the street who used to stalk me. So a little background information. My parents and I moved into a new house that was literally five minutes from where I used to- Hope you guys liked this video and found it helpful. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. It does help support us, and let's know what videos you guys want to see.